Welfare advocacy are challenging the judiciary to prioritize taking non-custodial measures for petty offenders with dependable children. According to Susan Jerry Waititu, who is a counseling psychologist, parental incarceration exposes thousands of children to emotional, physical, educational and financial threats impacting their general growth and development. While well, Safin Achingoma with more details. In Witeithia village, Georgia sub-county within Kiambu County, Boniface Mburu is busy juggling between domestic chores and caring for his one-year-old son. Boniface has had to be accustomed to this new way of life after his wife was arrested by county officials and charged with illegal dumping and he was unable to raise the 250,000 Kenyan shillings fine which was required to secure her release. Alishikuwa alikuwa ameshika tuka na tashika dogo hivi ka alikuwa anaenda ku dump mali sisi tuna tuna dump takataka lakini hakuwa ameona hiyo jina dumping juu kulikuwa usiku ilikuwa kitu saa tatu ndio maana akashikwa na kanjoo akaweka kwa gari na akiwa na mtoto mdogo mimi nikafika pale station nikaambiwa nichukue mtoto sasa ndio akaenda kotini akapigwa fine ya 1250 Boniface who works as a mechanic has not been able to go to work since he has no one else to take care of their son. Sa zingine hata sometimes mtoto akilia subuhi na shindako na mwajia nani na inabidi tu tukai na ee na inabidi tushinde tu kwa nyumba sa zingine tunakosa chakula. Their son was born with complication on both legs and requires regular medical checkups and treatment but that too has had to be put on hold considering his financial woes. Pia ningeoba kwenye kevu mtu mwenye za nisaidia juu mtoto wangu wako na shida migu ya APDK juu nilishindwa hata kumpeleka hosi halikuwa peleko hata hosi last week nilishindwa juu ya kosa fedha. The 2021 economic survey published by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics indicates that in 2020 a total of 86,119 people were committed to prison in Kenya, 78,231 of them were men and 7,888 were women. And while Persons Deprived of Liberty Act of 2014 allows mothers in prison to have their children accompany them until they attain the age of four years, the deplorable state in many correctional facilities exposes such children to a myriad of challenges and as such many parents prefer to leave their children at home. Estimates of the number of prisoners with dependable children still vary, but experts say that such forcible separation of a child from its parents negatively impacts the child's rights and well-being. Some parents are locked in and the children are left at home, giving them a lot of suffering. And those children, mind you, some of them are in their formative years, which goes a long way to affect them in their later stages in life. Susan Jerry Waititu, a counseling psychologist, is challenging the judiciary to consider taking non-custodial measures for petty offenders to protect the interests of children in their affected families. And I would really pledge with, uh, with our courts to give the non-custodial sentences whereby we have a lot of uh, work that the, these parents can do outside the courts. They can do maybe the manual jobs outside that would, that would be accorded instead of being locked inside for the sake of those children, for them to have good mental health as they're growing up. She says that players in the criminal justice system must on a need basis understand the unique dynamics of the family in question and try to ensure a safety net for the child or children of incarcerated parents. For Lunchtime News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.